Palestinian affairs analyst. Uh, what's the feeling right now uh, in Janine, Osama? Yeah, the feeling is 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 very sad feeling, really. The situation in Janine is very bad as large military Israeli occupation forces are breaking into the refugee camp of Janin, Janin city and the villages around, and using fierce military force against defenseless people. When we talk about the Palestinians in general, and particularly in Janin, we are not talking about people with arms, with tanks or planes. We are talking about defenseless people who are facing one of the strongest military forces in the Middle East, the Israeli occupation forces. And what is really shocking today, Israel is not only using its uh, infantry and its uh, military uh, jeeps, but they are using the Apache and the helicopters targeting the Palestinian houses, the Palestinian seats, killing four until now and injuring more than 40 nine uh, citizens. And as your correspondent said, that the Zeli aggression is still continuing. And according to statements by the Zeli military officials, that the aggression will continue. Will continue against whom? Against defenseless people, people who are asking for peace and for normal life. You know, nobody from Jinin threatened to go and carry out any attack against an Zeli, whether civilian or military. The Israeli military come from Israel, storm into Jenin, kill the people in their houses and in their neighborhoods. And the situation is getting really from bad to worse. And now, in these moments, it is the worst. 15 year old child was killed, other three youths, many people injured. A number of them are in dangerous situation. And the Palestinian paramedics have no access to evacuate the injured inside the refugee camp, as the Israeli military are at the entrances of the camp, preventing the paramedics. They want to see the injured Palestinians bleeding to death. Osama, you say that there's nobody in Janine who would pose a threat to Israel and its citizens. Israel says the opposite. It says that these raids are carried out because the Israelis have specific targets of people they believe want to possibly kill Israeli citizens, certainly undermine Israeli security. Is there any other way for these Israeli raids to happen? In other words, is there any way there can be some sort of cooperation for the Palestinian side at least to understand what the Israelis are thinking when they carry out a raid? Yeah, uh, first of all, Israel doesn't have any evidence or any indicator proving that any of these Palestinians pose any threat to Israel. And it is important to know that Jenin city is under the full Palestinian Authority control. It is classified according to Oslo Accord as Area A, which according to the agreement that is sponsored by the Americans, the Europeans and the United Nations, the Israeli forces are not allowed to get into the city. And the Palestinians have all the right to defend themselves and defend them uh, and defend their city against the invading forces. It is also important to mention that Israel is returning its settlers into the settlements that were evacuated from Jenin area in 2005. Now, Israel is returning these settlers, building religious and public schools in these settlements, and preparing for more housing units for Israeli settlers in the area that is surrounding Jenin City. So the uh, invader and the aggressor in this case is Israel, because it is returning its settlers to colonize the Palestinian land at the expense of the Palestinian farmers and the Palestinian villages. And at the same time, it pushes its military forces into the heart of Jenin City and refugee camp, killing the people in their houses. So. Who poses a threat to who? Israel is posing a threat to the Palestinians. And according to the United Nations and the international law, the worst and most serious form of terrorism is the occupation of the land of the other by force. And this is what Israel is doing. It's, it is occupying and colonizing the Palestinian land by force and using its military might against them. So the terrorists is the occupier, the colonizer, not the people who sleep in their houses dreaming 
of peace and safety, the Palestinians in this case. Uh, Osama, thank you so much indeed. I just want to, uh, you mentioned about uh, the settlements, the illegal settlements. We're expecting the Supreme Planning Council in Israel to meet at some stage this Monday to approve another 4,000 illegal settlements. So thanks also for mentioning that. Osama Nazel in Janine. You're welcome.